Great. Thank you so much. I'm here with Ori Gruder, the director of Rabbeinu, our rabbi. I am a wonder man. Um, Ori, thank you so much for being with us and for uh, this wonderful film. Tell us about uh, why you made this film, what it's all about, and... Uh... Uh, I'm uh, actually, I, I wanted to do a film about Rabbi Nachman for years, as I'm uh, a Rabbi Nachman uh, Hasid. Uh, but it was, uh, for me, it was like um, too obvious and I was afraid to touch my Rebbe uh, because it, it is bigger than life as you know people, but in other, from the side of the television, they were afraid to give it to me to do it because I'm uh, into it. Uh, will I be able to do something to watch it from outside, uh, like a journalist and uh, it was uh, quite, uh, it, took, it took us a long time to think about it, to how to do it. And uh, I think it's, it became something very special. It's something special for me uh, as I see myself in, into it. And it's also uh, the visual side of it is very special. So, and it's all the, with um, the spirit of Rabbi Nachman, what I think this uh, rabbi is and was. And what is that spirit? What would you say, how do you define that? I think, uh, you know, if you take from what we're talking, uh, like he, he was the first hippie rabbi, you know? He was like, um, he, he, he was like not for his time. He was for our time. Because when he talked then, if there were uh, only like 600 people around him. This is on the last days of like he, he, he was living on him for 38 and a half years. So he was very, very young when he died. Um, but uh, around him was the maximum 600 people, like Hasidic, you know, breast livers. And today it's like millions. Um, it, you know, he's maybe more, the most influenced and uh, known Jewish figure in the ultra Orthodox, um, you know, um, rabbis. Uh, and and then from that to that, you know, from uh, to, from zero to one hundred, I think our era, our time, he's talking to uh, our souls uh, much more than before. That's the reason many people want to hear what he says. He has a lot of things about um, the you know like psychological um, like for patients what to do to be happy. And people are really uh, you know, willing to tell, tell them what, what to do, but I don't want to, to, to have mitzvot or, you know, I don't want to be a religious. And Rabbi Nachman said, you can do whatever you want, just be happy. And this is very, very good for our time. And, uh, and you know, it's, and, and he's, he's a very complex also figure, sir. It's, it was, um, it's not, it, I, I think he, he was for his time, um, head of his time. He was, he, 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 the people couldn't understand what he's thinking and what he for, pointed an error for. And uh, it's for our era. So uh, that seems to often be the case with great ones. But, but you bring up here um, some thoughts that actually connect for me very much to, to uh, Passover, to Pesach. Um, I want to I want to hear from you how you feel your film and the elements from your film um, connect to the the traditions and the obligations of the holiday. Okay, um, I think it's it's interesting this question. Uh, I think there is two sides of it. One, uh, Pesach is freedom. I want to go. Let my people go. You know, uh, we want to break from the Egypt. You know, Paro. Uh, that we have also inside of us, uh, things that are, we are heavy and uh, sh like in shablons and everything have to be what we know, you know, uh, supposed to be. And the film is like Rabbi Nachman, like Rabbi Nachman breaks all the borders, is, is, is really a, a, a break, you know, he's breaking the ice, the borders, everything that have a, a border and an, a, a, on something very strict in Judaism is breaking it. And I think uh, to be free from something, you have to have the courage to go further. And we tried with this film to go further from the 
you know, the, for the documentary that you know. You, you not expect a documentary about a figure in the Judaism, a rabbi, to look like that. So we tested and break a lot of walls here uh, of the documentary uh, look like, how documentary is supposed to be. So it's every five minutes you're in a different kind of documentary and you don't understand what kind of film is it. So, so, so and this is, this is, I want to be free from, from the, you know, from the, 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 the rules of the, of, of the cinema. I'm, I'm trying to break it. This is one. The next yeah. thing, it's Rabbi Nachman is, is, you know, he's talking about a lot of it, but they do talk to the Lord from your own words. You're saying what you think uh, uh, without a praying book or, you know, just talking like to a very close friend. Uh, we have a, a very nice scene in the, in the movie about uh, this in Bodedut. And, uh, and I think Rabbi Nachman uh, connected to Pesach is like, you know, uh, the, the, the Bnei Israel, Bnei Israel uh, that came out of Egypt is something also uh, spiritually. Bnei Israel and Egypt is inside of you, Rabbi Nachman said. Mitzrayim, it's Metzar. It's Metzar, it's something very narrow. It's this, our th throat. Th throat, yes? Throat is narrow. It's narrow. And we have the heart below. And we want to talk, and it's stuck here. Rabbi Nachman said, let your people go. Let Bnei Israel, the, the talk, the talking that you want to talk to God, go out from the Metzara Garon, out. So to talking to, to God in all, your own language, not in Ivrit or Yiddish, or, or you can talk in English, in Spanish, in, uh, in French, in whatever can, you know, language that you can talk to your friend or your father or mother, talk to him like that. And this is really something very, very unique. And uh, it's like, it's, it's also breaking borders and talk to, you know, take, take your Bnei Israel out of the throat out, you know, talk it out, shout it out. Amazing. You, you, were, you were talking before about uh, also how Rabbi Nachman talks about um, approaching Judaism with joy. And of course, there is this mitzvah of um, to be joyful in your holidays. And I, I, I thought that's a beautiful connection. To, to a way which Passover could sometimes be a downer. You know, there's all these rules, you can't eat this, you can't do that, but you're reminded to be happy on your holidays. Yes, yes, that's, it's amazing. You know, uh, Pesach, it's, uh, it, it's the gematria of Pesach. Yeah. It's 148, Pesach, okay. and it's exactly Nachman. Nachman is also 148 in Hebrew. Huh. So Pesach and Nachman were very connected because he, he wants to take you free from something. And I think uh, people that will watch and watch the film have to take the freedom in themselves out. You know, it's that the film is making you, making you thinking and you know what, from now I can, you know, be connected to somebody who will let me free from something that I'm really, really attached and can't go out of it. You can. Rabbi Nachman said, you can't go out of anything you want. It's just to have to be, you know, to, to, be, you, to, to believe in yourself. That's, you know, and this is something very strong that go out from the movie. It's all together, you know, it's a complex of, uh, I, I hope the movie, uh, people liked it because it's very jumpy, young and uh, digital. So uh, I, I hope it's not too hell. That there's Come something on. for everyone, and I know that there's no move in this world that everybody agrees on. So I'm sure there'll yeah. be people that are like too jumpy and others that are like jumpy enough. <laughs> um, how are you celebrating your Pesach? Uh, with my family, family together. Um, it will be like nice here in Israel, in Elad, where I'm living. We're all together now here, and uh, we'll have fun. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you for the film and thank you for being with us. Thank you. I think and everybody in New York have a good Pesach and 